G'day, Observer Dave. Today I'm teaming up with two senior fisheries officers from AFMA's National Compliance and Enforcement Program. We'll run you through a typical inspection on board a domestic fishing boat. I'll go over what you as an operator or fish receiver can expect throughout the process. And I'll also cover the role you can play to help make the inspection as efficient as possible. AFMA fisheries officers perform a general deterrence role by assisting fishers to become self-compliant. We aim to make sure fishers are following obligations set out under the boat's permit conditions. For example, we may target fishers failing to comply with their vessel monitoring system and electronic monitoring requirements. Another example, targeting those who are not complying with gear and mitigation device requirements, as well as those committing quota evasion. Fisheries officers are able to board a domestic boat through the application of maritime powers. Officers will approach the boat or enter the fish receivers. They will verbally identify themselves and show their AFMA ID. Fishing operators and receivers can prepare by ensuring all their documentation is in order and at hand at all times. Once inside, the officer will request to see your electronic or paper logbooks and catch disposal records. Whilst on board, officers will check the retained catch and compare it to what's been recorded in the log. They may also check that the VMS is operational or, if required, check the vessel's plotters. It's important to allow the officers open access to all parts of the vessel. This will assist AFMA to complete the inspection in a timely manner. Officers will then check that the fishing gear is within its guidelines for each fishery, ensuring operators have all the required bycatch mitigation devices on board and in place. This includes checking bird bafflers, sprayers, torry lines, line weighting and all excluded devices to ensure that they meet the required specifications, as well as all beacons and windy boys have the required markings. Identifying the correct mitigation measures for your fishery will ensure a compliant operation. AFMA fisheries officers are very approachable. One of our key roles is in education. We would prefer to head off a situation before it becomes too unmanageable. So if you have any questions, please come and see us. The key things that AFMA Fisheries Officers will inspect are vessel documentation, including paper or electronic logbooks and catch disposal records. They'll check the gear types and requirements for the respective fishery, compare the retained catch to what's recorded in the logbook, make sure the VMS is operational, and our officers are out there to ensure compliance. You can be prepared by having all of your documentation on hand and easily accessed, logbooks filled out and up to date, provide open access to all areas of the vessel, but more importantly, we want you to ask questions if you're unsure about anything. AFMA will provide advice to operators on their responsibilities, but we do take non-compliance seriously. So get to know your obligations to prevent any potential impacts to your operation. Being prepared for an inspection will assist in it running smoothly and efficiently so that you can get back to business as soon as possible.